A Saskatoon man is warning others to be cautious when depositing money into an ATM. It comes after he deposited a check that was misread by the machine, leaving him short by over $20,000. CTV's Nicole DiDonato explains. A simple task turning into a two and a half week nightmare. That's what Tom Williamson says happened when he tried depositing a $21,000 check given to him by a family member at the TD in Stonebridge on Valentine's Day. I'm glad I'm alive to do this without a heart attack after it. Williamson says he used the drive through ATM as he thought it would be easier due to COVID-19. But when he got his receipt for the deposit, he was surprised to see only $210 went through. I figured it was a simple mistake it can get taken care of very easily but that wasn't the case Williamson says he immediately went into the bank to get help but was told the issue would have to go to head office and that there was a policy that needed to be followed he adds there was never a question of fraud with the check everybody's saying oh yes we will take care of this for you Mr. Williamson you'll get your money back two and a half weeks. I never saw a thing. Williamson says the bank's policy stated it could take between 50 and 60 days to resolve the issue. After weeks of discussions with TD and inquiries made by CTV News, Williamson says he woke up Wednesday morning to find he was over $20,000 richer. I have a bit of a grin on my face because checking my bank account this morning, I saw that I did have a credit put into my bank account for the difference for the outstanding amount. In a statement to CTV News, TD apologized to Williamson for the delay, adding that it encourages ATM customers to verify the amount of any check before completing their transaction, and that there are procedures to correct errors when making a deposit, but they take time due to processes involving other financial institutions. While Williamson did end up getting his money, will he continue to use an ATM? Yes to take money out, but definitely not to put money in. This was a check it could get, it, I was able to get traced back. But what if this had been cash? I couldn't have substantiated anything. Nicole DiDonato, CTV News, Saskatoon.